Tony back, Big Gigantos. Time to crack straight on with my Transformers reviews. As I said, I was going to do my uh, welcome back vid after my haul video. Time to get, time to, uh, get cracking on. Move straight on with that uh, Blitzwing. I've done a, an, a, a review of uh, animated Blitzwing. He's the only animated character I got just because I, I love that version of him. It's really good. Please have a look at that if you haven't seen that already. Uh, so let's just get on with the transformation of this guy now. Triple changer, Blitzwing. So let's start with him in robot form. Don't do this with Astral Train, but I want to show you how to move him from his robot form through his other two alt forms and back to his robot form again. So, one thing I like about any triple changer is that is anything that disguises what their alt modes are. And uh, with Blitzwing, you can obviously clearly see from here that he's going to turn into a jet, but there is absolutely no hint at all of his tank form, which is always a good thing except for that little turret right at the back there which you can't really see unless you know it's there until you turn him around but again that's the only giveaway you can make it some slight tank treads there but when i first saw this guy when i was a kid i didn't actually have him my brother had him but i thought the transformation was ingenious and you know to the people that came up with the, the concept of this guy i think they did a very good job considering it was the first ever uh, thing of its kind along with their uh, Astral Train and Octane, but he, he, Octane didn't come along till Series 3. So let's just quickly move him now. And we're going to go for his uh, Jet Mode first. Uh, now, first thing to do is push up the two feet into that position and that position. Leave these things out. Obviously those things there will help to balance him when he's in robot form. Just leave them in. Okay, with the arms, just there. Uh, push in the hands and then sink them right inside like that so that they're out of the way. Now this whole section will move. Oops, one of his missiles has fallen out there. Let's put that back in. Oh, in fact, you know what, I'll just take those out for a minute. Right. This whole section moves. Now it only needs to stay in this position when he's in robot mode. In his other two alt forms, they will both swing down to here. All right. Now, before we get it there, we've got to do something else. We've got to open this section up. You can see that where that's going to be the tank. And see this little purple tab here. You just oh, press on that. And this little thing will come out like that. Close that up again. And that's going to be the, the back fin of the plane. So now we can just go ahead and fold that down into place like that. All right. Now, you've noticed I've got the tank turret out of the way. Now, to move the other section down, we've got to swing that around so that it's out of the way gives this full range of movement okay so let's do the same again let's open that up bring out the little top wing put that back swing the whole thing round to that position and there we are okay now with the tank turret okay that's where it was before let's swing it round to the back and um, this thing will extend for when it's in tank form but we obviously want it in there pull the turret all the way to the back as far as it will go oh God, that's a good shot you can see the rub sign working there back as far as it will go which is in that position i'll show you why in just a second okay that just leaves now you can see there where his head is that just leaves the cockpit of the plane you just need to kind of do that with it just enough so you can get hold of that and flip that round and that's the plane last thing to do is just flip out the uh, landing gear you've got a little hook there just get your thumb under it pull that out now the reason i said to put the, the turret back this kind of flops around really there's, there's no way of keeping it stiff unless you screw up the little peg underneath um, on this tank turret here you've got these two little half sort of semicircles now the reason we pull that to the back is that these two semicircles will be level with that front landing gear so that when you put him down at that he stands no problem if you put this turret further in like say for example there then look what happens okay he then becomes back heavy All right so you need to keep this turret up to the front position like that okay and then he'll sit there quite nice let's put these missiles back in now and there's one they don't fire these missiles but the, the clips just uh, keep them there they just stay in place and what I do like about them is provided you don't keep catching the buttons which are there they will actually stay in place in all three forms including the tank form so let's go ahead and change them to tank form 
Right, let's flip in the, uh, put in that again, flip this around. All right, now remember I said in tank form and jet form, you can leave this whole wing section where it is. All right, so all we need to do this time is just pull the wings in half, flip up to there, split there, flip to there, and that shows the tank treads inside. Then we just need to flip in all these wings. So we put in those purple ones back to where they were, like that, and then these metal ones here that were also his feet, flip them down like that, and that's it. And then just swing this round to that side, extend the, the barrel, there we go, and that's him. Now, inside here, see I don't know if this will come off, I just wanted to show you the little the little peg, but mine's a little bit loose underneath, it doesn't stay in the same place. Ah, there we go. So you, you can see what happens here, that the turret, this little hole here slides over this thing, which is supposed to stay in that position. I need to get a screw just to tighten that up. But well, that's how it stays there, but it can come off. Now, it's a choice as to whether you want to leave the turret like that and have this as the front of the tank, or have this as the front of the tank and turn it that way. Personally, I think it looks better from this angle, purely because at this end, you know, you this is the only flaw I have with it, really, is that you can see the, the jet cockpit and the nose cone there, and you can even see his head under there. Again, a triple changer will always be compromised. You'll always be able to see bits of it, bits of another mode on one mode. But if you kind of do that and ignore the fact that that cockpit is there, I think that does a pretty good job at hiding it well. And in jet mode, the only thing you can see that's, uh, that will tell you that he's going to be a tank is he's got this thing hanging underneath him. But in tank form, he's got the cockpit showing. So again, you know, it's going to be very difficult to hide every little aspect of every other mode. But with this one, I think they did a cracking job. Love these old modes, they're both great. This is a, a Japanese uh, Type 29, I think, uh, tank. Uh, if you see videos of them, you can find them on YouTube. It's got this quite this unique function, which uh, you know you can get those cars that uh, have the little uh, the things inside them that make the car like do dances and that kind of thing. Well, that's what this tank has. Basically, you can see it's quite a, a flat, flat level looking tank. Uh, this had a feature which uh, means it could be sat on the ground, but it could be raised like that so it could kind of be hiding behind a hedge and then sort of raise itself up to uh, propel the the gun turret over the top but i mean th that's more for tank enthusiasts you don't really want to know about that uh the jet mode is based on something as well i didn't look before i came to do the review i'm sorry please check it out on wikipedia if you want to find out what the jet mode was i usually do i just didn't this time but i do love that tank form all right so we'll just finish off with putting back into uh, robot mode then so, there he is. We need to flip down these sections again. Open up, flip down. Open up, flip down. And like I said, for robot mode, we need to have this whole section back here. So move the turret over here out of the way so that this is free. Swing that up. Move the turret to the other side. Swing that up. But before we get it there, let's just pinch that and pull out the arm. See, I didn't do it on that side, did I? Move it forward a bit. Let's pull out the arm. And then you can just, uh, whoops. Get your thumb in there and just pull out the little fists. Right, so he's almost done. Now let's pull out the feet again. One, two, easy. And then just slide up these little things that were the, the plain fins. That just helps to give him some uh, balance. Now on the back here, I just, what I usually do is just let that hang down low to where it goes and put the turret back down. Just so it hides it out of the way. Although he's depicted as having it shown. So you can leave it like that. It's entirely up to you what you do with it really. Right, let's just put his weapons with him now. One thing I don't like about the robot before I do that is just the arms. He just looks like a zombie, you know, he's just walking around like that. But again, you know, like I say, it's a triple changer, and I think for what it is, they did a very good job of it. Okay, he comes with, uh, you've seen, he comes with three missiles, the two of them in there already. Um, he also comes with a sword, just has got a little tab there and little holes in the side of the hands. Put the sword in there and i do like his gun put the gun in there okay that just uh, gives me a bit of extra menace i suppose oh come here legs have fallen we're gonna make sure these wing bits are just right ah there he is perfect let's just bring in his little uh, buddy there with him and that's him with astral train
And it's slightly different colours actually. He's supposed to be more grey than his white, but I've done a review of Astral Chain, you've seen him already. This is about Blitzwing. I do like that, the gun and the sword. Again, it's just a shame that it can only go in through the side of the hands because they're a little bit close together. And mine does have a tendency to do that, that little clip. It does stay in there, but uh, see, that's clipped in nice now. But if you don't click it right, it does have a tendency to fall out. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. That's Blitzwing, G1 Blitzwing. Hope you like this review. I'll be back with another very shortly. See you all later, guys. Thank you.